Hi everyone, my name is Akuridi Adenike. You are highly welcome to my channel. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to cut and sew this beautiful structured sleeve showing on the screen. Now let's get into it. Here is the fabric I'm using for the tutorial today is taffeta fabric. I'm going to make use of my color stay gum and I'm making use of my crinoline as well. Now to know the amount of fabric putting on fold for this beautiful sleeve, I'm going to make use of my round arm hole measurement to fold it. My round arm hole measurement is, is 16 inches divided by 2 will give me 8.5, I mean 8 inches. And I'm going to add extra 5 inches to it, that is 13 inches, plus 1 inch same allowance, that is 14 inches. So I'm going to put 14 inches on fold now. So this is my 14 inches on fold now. So from this straight line, I'm going to measure out the length of my sleeve. I'm making use of 10 inches, which is the normal length for short sleeve, for, my, for the length of my sleeve. And I'm adding extra 6 inches to it to make it form that structure sleeve very well. So it will give me 16 inches altogether. I'm adding 1 inch to it for same allowance, that is 17 inches, which is here. If you are a beginner, please pin down your fabric to avoid it from shaking here and there. So I'm going to connect this one now to form straight line after pinning it down. Now I'm done connecting it as you can see, so I'm going to cut it out now for me to further my measurements. I'm done cutting as you can see. Here is the folded edge and here is the open edge. I'll just turn it like this for me to measure out my measurement. So from here now, I'm going to measure five inches in wood. I'll just create five inches for my calf side. You can make use of any fabric of your choice. You can use door face, satin door face, or shiny face, any fabric of your choice. It's your preference. So five inches from the folded edge here till I meet my open edge. So I'm going to connect it straight like this. Here is 14 and half. Let me just, this is my 14 inches now. That is why it is good to cross check your measurement before you further with your cotton. Here is where the 14 inches is. So let me just roll it out for you guys to see. So now I have here from the folded edge here I have 14 inches by 17 inches as you can see. So after rolling out this straight line I'm going to connect from here to here to create my armhole. So, so I'm going to find the middle of this line, this point and this point now, which is, let me place my measurement, my tape measure and fold into two for me to create the middle part easily. So I'll just draw it out like this, measure half inch outward like this and draw it, just draw it out like this. So this is my armhole now. From here, I'm going to measure out nine inches, which is here. So I'll just connect from here to here. With my free hand, or better still, you can use your curve ruler if you find it easy. So I'll just connect from here now to meet here just like this. I'm going to cut it out now. I open it up. This is what I have, as you can see. So I'm cutting one more of this. Cut my gum stay as well. Gum it on the one that I'm going to use as lining. 
and I'll come and show you what's next. Now I'm done cutting as you can see. Here is the lining. I've added my color gum stay to it and here is the main fabric. So I'll go ahead and stitch my acrylic line on the lining at the bottom here. Here is the bottom of my sleeve. I'll just measure, if you are a beginner, please measure it before you stitch. I'll just measure half inch from the tip here. I'm going to measure half inch. So above that half inch, I'm going to place my crino line and stitch the tip of the crino line. While stitching, please do not pull to make it form the structure you are looking forward to. So after marking my, let me just demonstrate it. Assuming this is my half inch now, I'm marking it on the wrong side, sorry. Let me use the colored, colored chalk. So, assuming this is the half inch now, I'll just mark it from here now till I reach the other end here. After marking it out like that, I'm going to pick my green line and stitch it above the line. Just like this, a little bit above the line and I'm stitching on the tip of my crino line. While stitching, I'm not going to pull it because if you pull it, it will not give you the structure you are looking forward to. So after stitching, I'll come and show you what's next. Do not drag the crino line, please note that. Now I'm done stitching my crino line, as you can see, I'm done stitching it on the wrong side of the lining. So I'll go ahead and as you can see, I left one inch seam allowance here. I did not stitch my crino line to reach the edge here. So I'm going to place my main fabric on the right side of the lining and stitch the bottom of my sleeve with half inch. When I finish doing that, I'll come and show you what's next. I'm done joining the main fabric to the lining, as you can see. So I'm going to notch the curve area. turning to the right side and give it a good press. Now I'm done with all that I explained. I've notched it round and I've turned it to the right side before ironing it. So I'll go ahead and trim the excess here. So now after trimming the excess, so I'll go ahead and open it up like this for me to join the armpit. If you look at the picture very well, you can see that the armpit is showing so to have neat armpit I have to fold it like this as you can see I open it up like this and fold it like this for me to stitch the armpit with one hand that I added to it for my seam allowance let the lining face the lining and let the main fabric face the main fabric on the right side so I'm going to stitch from here now till I reach here with one hand that I added for seam allowance to it now i'm done stitching the side seam as you can see so i'm going to i'm going to trim here to the last to make it pointy at that side very well i'll go ahead now and turn it to the right side so here's it now i'll go ahead and iron this place very well iron the same side very well to make it lay very well so when i finish doing that i'm going to gather here so till i get my armhole measurements but before that i'm going to trim the excess here now i'm done ironing as you can see so look at it on the inside and look at it on the outside so i later realized that what i have here is too wide for what I need. I need to measure one inch from here to here and reshape it. I've already done that as you can see it has been reshaped. So I'll go ahead now and create puff on my shoulder here. You know if you look at the sleeve very well there is a puff on the shoulder. I'll just create puff here and show you the finishing look of it after creating the puff. 
on the shoulder this is what i have as you can see it's very nice and beautiful so if my tutorial has been helpful to you guys please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel if you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing you can join me on my facebook group details to sewing created by akuredi adenike i'm on twitter and instagram at akuredi adenike please show some love by liking and following my page on facebook at akuredi adenike sewing tutorial till i see you in my next video guys stay safe stay blessed bye bye